no matter the location. From OAKLA to LV, I'm a Raider. This Raiders mailbag is presented by Manscaped. Go to manscaped.com slash Raiders. We're going to be able to save 20% off and get free shipping. New product alert. If you haven't already gone out and gotten the Shears 2.0, make sure you do it. Why? Raiders games can be some nail biters, and I got some ugly nails. Luckily, Manscaped is trying to help me get some nicer nails, so when I go to shake hands in Las Vegas, I don't get somebody looking at me like, yeah, you ain't touching me with that. So go to manscaped.com slash Raiders, 20% off and free shipping. The Shears 2.0, the best kit out there to help take care of your nails. Make sure your hands are looking good. Also, tweezers, you know, in case you got a little unibrow going. A little Anthony Davis, we don't need none of that. All right, Jeff, you're first up here on the Raiders Report. Will this year's rookie class be better than last year's? I have a lot of confidence in this uh, rookie class, but I'm going to say no. And the reason I'm going to say no is because last year's Raiders rookie class was, well, one of the greatest in NFL history, and you can yell at me if you're not a Raider fan, but last year's rookie class, the Raiders were first in receptions, rushing yards, rushing touchdowns, receiving touchdowns, and first downs game. That's very impressive. Let's go to Devin, get a picture. Do you think the Raiders can go out and get Aaron Rodgers in 2021 if Carr does not play well this season? If he doesn't play well, sure, absolutely. If you were to ask me right now, which team is the most likely to trade for Aaron Rodgers if Derek Carr doesn't play well, I'll actually say it's the Las Vegas Raiders because John Gruden has never proven that he's willing to draft a quarterback young. He wants a veteran. It reminds me a lot of Rich Gannon. Go out, find a player who... You know, can add to your team right away. Aaron Rodgers helps you do that. Yes, he's going to be about 37, 38, but yeah, I, I would say the Raiders are the best chance to go out and get uh, Aaron Rodgers. Ricky, Mitch, do you, okay, do you rather have Rod Smith, Booker, or Hill? So how about this, Ricky? I'm going to take this to the next level. You mentioned three names. I'm going to take it up a notch. I'm going to give you four names. So if you had to keep one of the running backs that you see on screen, who would you keep? Jeremy Hill type JH, Devontae Booker, DB, Rod Smith type RS, or William Stonback type WS. Out of all the running backs that you see on screen, which one would I keep? I'd honestly probably keep Rod Smith because I know exactly what I'm going to get out of Rod Smith. A safe running back who's just going to come in here and there and give me a few extra snaps to take a little bit of pressure off of you know, Jacobs. I'm not going to pick Hill because he's got a fumbling problem. I'm not going to pick Booker because he's a worse version of Jalen Richard. And Stonback, I think Rod Smith is a better version of him, even though he had a good year in the CFL. Gary, what's up, brother? Appreciate the super chat. 11 and a half sacks for Furl, and I was with Mitch in Vegas this weekend and can confirm he uses the lawnmower for Manscaped. I don't know how you can confirm that, <laughs> but... I do know that, uh, yes, I did have at least ball deodorant and ball toner on while I was in Las Vegas. Had a lot of fun with Gary. Had a lot of fun with a lot of Raider fans at Barcode Burger in Las Vegas. If you're looking for some great burgers, go check that place out. But anytime I'm visiting a city, I do always try to hit up some fans because I like to talk Raiders. I like to have some beers. I like to have some food as well. So Gary and the rest of Raider Nation, appreciate you. 11 and a half sacks for Furl. Okay, how about this? How many sacks for Cleveland this upcoming season in 2020? 11 and a half is a lot. And as much as I would love to see Clee get up to 11 and a half, ah, it's a little steep for me. So my, my original prediction has always been seven and a half, eight for this upcoming season. That's the number I'm going to go with. But I'm seeing a lot of eights, see some nine and a half, see some sevens as well. So, hey, Cleveland Furl, hopefully he's uh, going to get a lot of sacks this upcoming season. Speaking of sacks, make sure you're taking care of yours because Las Vegas is, well, it's hot as balls. And with products like this, ball deodorant and ball toner, you're not going to have that disgusting smell. You're not going to have that chafe that you would normally have going on in the hot Las Vegas heat. So go to manscaped.com slash Raiders, get 20% off and free shipping, and you can get both the ball toner and ball deodorant with the perfect package from Manscaped. Also, what comes with that? The boxers, the lawnmower 3.0, ball toner. Also, you get a pretty funny newspaper as well, which I absolutely love. Bottom line is this. Manscaped, it's made for dudes. It's made for people who I really think like to get down, have a good time. You take a lot of care. Okay, think about it. You shampoo, 
you use conditioner so your hair doesn't smell, you don't want this to smell down there either. So make sure you're taking care of yourself. Go to manscaped.com, code Raiders, 20% off, plus free shipping. It's in the comments. It's in the description. Super easy. Just trying to help you all out a little bit because, uh, yeah, Las Vegas, man, it was it was hell, hell hot. All right, Vincente DeCampos, you're next up. Get a pick. How long do you think till the Raiders get an elite defense? I'll say we're probably still another two, three years away from an elite, elite defense. Now, now, if Cleveland can step up and be that top number four pick, and if we can get the most out of Littleton, Kwiatkowski, if a player like Tanner Muse can really flourish in his role, if Jonathan Abram can step up, I think that our defense is going to be top 15 this year. But elite to me is top five, top three. We're still a few pieces away. We're still some depth away from being able to get to that elite status. Julian, what's up, my dude? Who do you think will have a better rookie season, Henry Ruggs or Jerry Judy? What are your stat predictions for both? So let, let me get a sip of water real quick. All right, so for me, I'm going to go with Henry Ruggs. And the reason why I'll go with Ruggs is he's going to be the number one option, unlike Judy. Judy is going to be behind Cortland Sutton. He's also going to be battling with, I think, a very, very good tight end in Noah Pham. I think Judy is a good player, but from what I know, I have more confidence in Derek Carr than I do Drew Locke, and I have more confidence in the Raiders' offense than I do the Broncos' offense. We'll say for total yards, I'll say Henry Ruggs gets around 900 total yards. I'll say Jerry Judy's probably more around like the 700, 750 total yard range. We got a super chat coming in, and remember, if you want to jump the line, you can super chat or you can wait in line by using hashtag Raiders, and then hopefully we'll put your question here on the show. If you super chat, though, we will get it on the show. Your top five Raiders you hate. So you want me to know, you want to know the top five Raiders I dislike? Oh, man, I don't really dislike anyone. I would say from the time I started the show, from the time I started the show, I'll say... Um, Number one is pretty easily for me. Um, oh, boy. Raiders that I hate. That's a Antonio Brown's clearly number one. Number two, three, four, man. Amari Cooper's got to be up there. I don't really hate Khalil Mack because I don't blame him, but at the same time, he did kind of abandon us. Arden Key does drive me nuts a little bit because he has a lot of talent, but I wish he would step up. I don't know how many I'm at now. Jamarcus Russell's definitely got to be up there. Yep, all right, I think that's enough, but yeah, F-A-B. All right, let's go to Henry. All right, perfect. <laughs> A-B drinks White Claws, Ruggs drinks hard mead. So I actually like White Claws for, for the record, but if I'm truly honest, I would take truly over White Claws, but anytime I see F-A-B, wait, anytime I see A-B, I say F-A-B. I was actually on Instagram the other day, and uh, literally somebody commented on a picture of Antonio Brown and just said F-A-B. When I can get to that recognition for FAB, that's what it's all about. So somebody else said Randy Moss. I don't really think I hate Randy Moss. Yes, it didn't really work out, but by far the most hated Raider is AB. But was he ever a Raider? You know, hey, I'm not 100% sure on that one. So Henry and everyone watching, I do appreciate everyone that did tune in, everyone that did watch the show. Remember, if you could, set a reminder that the Raiders report goes live every Tuesday, 6 p.m. Eastern time. 3 p.m. Pacific. So all the times I'll be like, Mitch, how did I miss your live show? Don't worry. If you just set a reminder, you can join our live show. So if you have those questions, if you have, you know, super chats, I can promise you I'll answer your question. If I didn't get to your question because there's 820 people watching live on YouTube, you can always hit me up on Instagram at MitchellRens365. But to the people who are watching this on a later date, probably over the weekend, again, 6 p.m. Eastern time, 3 p.m. Pacific time, Raiders Report. All you got to do, hit subscribe, turn on your notifications so you get that notification when I do go live. Okay? Cool? All right. Keep the show moving here. Super Chat. What's up, TR? Appreciate you watching. Uh, Roundtree is GOAT. Do you think Crosby is better than Bosa? So do I think that Max Crosby is better than Nick Bosa? Y'all are going to get mad at me for this, but I'm going to say no. I think Nick Bosa is a more rounded defensive end. Uh I think Crosby had a great year. He had 10 sacks. Four of those did come against the Bengals. And I'll say two of those 
were probably more the fault of the quarterback, who his name is escaping me right now. Crosby should have had an extra two sacks uh, simply because he got robbed against Mahomes and he got robbed in another game that's simply escaping me. But this isn't a rip on Crosby. This is more of a Nick Bosa is a very, very talented player. But both of them are going to be absolute wrecking havoc in the NFL for a long time. But I will say that Nick Bosa, at this current point in his career, is more complete edge rusher than Max Crosby. Rodgers, the Iceman Smith Jr., what free agent on the market is both cheap and high potential that could help us? So this is a really good question. If you haven't already seen my defensive tackle uh, free agent video, please go check that one out. I would say from a linebacking perspective, Nigel Bradham interests me a lot. I think he's a player where at age 30 can also cover uh, pretty well at that position. I'll also go out and say maybe a Drake or Patrick. I would have said uh, Darquez Denar, but he's no longer there. I'll say Drake or Patrick, 30 years old, long and lanky, could potentially add some extra value there if a guy like Isaiah Johnson doesn't fully pan out. But at defensive end, if I'm going to spend money, uh, I'm going to go big. I'm going to go either with Everson Griffin or I'm going to go with a guy you know, like Jadeveon Clowney. I'm going to stay away from Logan Ryan, though, because I don't think he could be uh, cheap. So, no to him. All right, Robert, what's up, dude? Who scores the first touchdown in Allegiant? So, technically, technically the answer to this question is somebody in the TCU UNLV game. So, that, that's technically it, okay? Um, from the from the Raiders' standpoint, the first Raider that's going to score, I'm going to put my money on Josh Jacobs. So, if you all want to let me know who's going to score the first touchdown, let me know. I would appreciate it. Raider Nation, what's going on? Is this the number one Raiders channel on YouTube? For Chucky Heads, believe it, baby. And if you haven't already, subscribe right here. I'm giving you Chucky Heads news, rumors, Raider Nation rumors. And look at this. I'm making your life easier. Check out my next video. Thanks for watching, and go Raiders.